Hello guys, I'm Ashita from second year CSE department. Today we will see what is Python. Python is one of the popular programming language to learn. It is interpreted. It is also called as general purpose programming language. It is created by Guido von Rosam in the year 1991. It is named after a famous TV show called Monty Python Flying Circus. The latest version is 3.11. Why we have to learn Python? It is easy to learn, easy to understand, easy to implement when compared to other programming language. Also, low development time. It runs on Mac, Linux, Windows and many other platforms. One of the interesting facts about the Python is Python learners are more than the French learners. Many well-known companies were using Python like Google, YouTube, IBM, etc. My name is Soas. So applications in Python. Due to its very simple syntax, when you read a good Python script, it looks like a reading simple English. So it is widely used in all the fields. It is majorly used in web development, game development, artificial intelligence and machine learning. It is also used in data analytics. Okay, let's see one of the game that I have developed using Python. So the game I have developed is a simple bouncing ball game. I have developed this game using Python and one of the module Tkinder. And I have also added the sound effects when the ball hits. And when you fail to catch the ball, then the game is over. So this is the code for bouncing ball game. Uh, initially, we have imported Tkinder module, time module and random module. Tkinder module provided by Python, it is graphical user interface, GUI. Firstly, we have uh, initialized the uh, Tkinder. Then this is the first thing we see on the screen. Uh, the title of the game is Bouncing Ball Game. Next, we have defined the width and height of the canvas. Next, uh, you need to press enter before you start the game. Firstly, there are many elements in the game. Elements like ball, poles and also the ball which is the major ball. So, to create all those elements, we have considered them as objects and defined a class called ball. So, all ball objects comes under this class and we are having an initializer. When you create a ball object, all these things are initialized. Then we have created a stone strike. Instead of balls, we also need stones to make it more challenging for the player. We have defined the pole strike. Based on the strikes on the pole, this uh, function will be called. The pole will be moving when you press left and right, when the input is taken from the user. So these are the, all the scenarios where the ball hits. The balls uh, which are already falling down, which are generated randomly using random module. Now this is the pole which you see, uh, which you actually play with. When you press uh, left key, then the pole will turn towards left. If you press right key, then it turns towards right. And when you enter space, the game stops. It pauses for a second. The game will be corner draw based on the scenarios you encounter. And these are the functions which we are calling. When you call the turn left function, the pole will move minus 3.5 in coordinates and plus 3.5 in x axis. And the game will be paused using this function. And next, we have created a class called stone to make it more challenging for the people. Instead of all balls, we also get encounter with stones. We also have a uh, constructor for the stone class. Initially, we kept playing as false. Then we have called the function start game event, which basically takes care of the uh, game starting. Like if playing is false. Initially, since we have initialized with false, the statement is always true. So whenever you call the, this start game function, it will run execute. These are the stone colors which I have chosen. So all the stones appears on the screen, one of these colors. Random.shuffle, here you can see the direct application of the module we have used. It shuffles and takes any some random color so that the ball pop ups. And we are updating the canvas after creating the balls, after the ball is deleted. This is the time to delay to, for the creation of the new ball. And all these are the scenarios that you encounter in the game, like when you hit two balls at once or three balls at once, when ball hits on the edge of the pole. And we are calling the final function and we are main looping it so that the frame rates will be refreshing for every milliseconds. Now, when you run the code, the game appears and when you press enter, it starts. Initially, the score will be zero. Now, when you press left and right keys, the pole moves left and right accordingly based on the function's call and all the colors generated by the targeted balls is generated randomly by using shuffle function from random module and the score increases as you play on. Now the challenge for players is to not to let the ball touch the ground. Oops, I lost here. So you can start the game again by pressing enter. Now everything resets, your score will be zero again. You can continue playing. So this is how the game runs. Thank you. Thank you.